we have the... these turbines here, here we right? Go. So these are the ones that you were talking about. I'm, I'm assuming yeah. these are the ones that you're talking about, mm -hmm. right? So in your in your opinion, these are actually going over the curve. And because also, I also took another observation from this location here, and I looked at them side on. Yeah. And I looked at the same. I looked at the same wind turbines, and I looked across here, and I've actually got the um, image up for them, which is this one here. Oh no, it's not. Uh, where is it gone? This one here. So this is the one from the side. Now, the red line is the one that's the nearest to us, obviously, because it's the higher one. And each individual turbine mapped out, I think it was like three, hang on, I might have them written down somewhere, which turbine, uh, sorry, 2, 6, 9, 13, 16, 20, 24, and 20. So in that particular order, they those, those turbines that were nearest to us. And so what I did is I placed the red line yeah, through the center of the hubs on the red, on the ones that were exactly on that line. And, ev and this red line goes through the hub of every single turbine in a very straight line. And it also does it on the other four sets of wind farms. So when I viewed it from this location, looking at it from here, all these turbines were in a perfectly straight line, row one, two, three, and four. And also when I looked at them from this location, which was further away, uh, again, they were all perfectly straight to the hub. Now, I've got an example of that ready to go with the one on the left, which also has the uh, the, the line going through the center of the hub. This is the left turbines. Do you, do you actually know how far away those things are? Because you could, yeah, you could use perspective to predict what the that line should actually be. Okay. So the heights of the windmills. Like, you should be able to compare this exactly to what you yeah, should expect for perspective. It, it, it's all on here. Uh, the distance in miles to each turbine. So to this one here, it's 11.55. This one's 11.85. To the furthest one, 13.7. This is the curvature calc that says how much the turbine should have dropped behind the curve of the Earth, right? 64.28, 68.27, right down to the furthest one that would have done at 95.52, right? However, and you can also see these are in a perfectly straight line through the hub. Uh, so not only did I get them looking straight down them from 11 miles and 13 miles away, I also looked at them from the side and saw there was no curvature. And lastly, what I, also, I want to go back to this same image, which proves that the angular the angular size would have given pretty much the same curvature calcs in comparison. There's the angular size change, and there's the curvature calcs here. Almost indistinguishable. So what I'm saying is that they've co-opted uh, angular wait, wait, wait. size for curvature of the Earth. Oh, so you're saying the the curvature matches the per the the curvature matches this red line? Yes, it matches the angular size change to within a few degrees. Oh, you know what I mean, literally, this point here is where the curvature calcs say we should lose contact with the turbines. However, this point here is where the angular size will have also made them disappear from view. No, oh, I mean you so small. You, how do you know that that red line is supposed to be the angular size, though? I mean, you're, well, you're basically again, assuming that that's what's happening, but well, you have to show what the prediction would be for perspective as well on a flat Earth. Well, this image here, um, it's the same image that I was using. The horizon, obviously, uh, I adjusted the contrast to get the horizon. And what you, you can see immediately, especially on this one, this is quite clear, actually, you can see that the, the pointing downwards... I mean, this is unequivocally a demonstration of perspective because you cannot tell me that it's anything other than perspective when you go to the side elevation. So if and if Ranty now goes to the side elevation, these things aren't on a curve, are they? Yeah, that, I mean, that is very interesting. Like, it looks... Uh, flat? Yes, it's like it's, it's, as a pancake, I'd it's agree. It's not just curve. It's not just curve. It's also perspective, right? Because they're going to be no. mixing the two. Uh, no, I just say it's just perspective. Because this is you can't have that argument unless you see a curve when you look at them side on. So these would need to be adhering to that curve that you. So think is this going one image? The other angle. Is this one continuous image? This is from a video. This is from a video. 
Uh, I've got the actual video I can show you if you if you're interested, or you just take it for it. Okay. Um, uh, I'll put the video. That's really it, interesting, actually. guys. That's so, amazing. That's amazing right there, man. Yeah, well, I done, actually have to demo. go, but I definitely will be back to talk more about this because that's that's a interesting observation. All right. Okay. So this is me basically on the beach. At okay, Barrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Thank, thank you, Philip. Yeah, no problem. Star as ever. Bye. Brilliant information. Thank you for your studying and homework and all the rest of it. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. But yeah, as Ranty plays this video out. Um, feel free to let Sorry. it play, Ranty, just so it's dedicated to air. If you can just let it play once through, that'd be brilliant. Um, just stick it on from the beginning. It's only three and a half minutes long. You might as well watch the whole thing play through. Yeah, we don't, we don't see that. It's Blackpool Tower we're looking at. Oh, okay. First half. Fair enough. But yeah, if you just let this bit, bit play out. But the bottom line is, if you want to say that these wind turbines are falling behind a curve, you need to explain why they're not built on a curve. Because they're not. They're built completely level completely flat when you look side onto them they're not curving so if you want to in any way suggest that as you look front on where we're all told we should be measuring the curvature not curvature obstruction well you need to explain why they dip away when you look front on but they're absolutely perfectly level and flat when you look side on because they are flat simple you're not seeing curvature. Ranty, how, how many miles is that ranty um, to this on that and... on that side shot, how how many miles was that? Can you bring to the photo with one. all the measurements up, Runty? You've got a photo with it all. You've got it all written down. Yeah. So the side ones we're looking at four miles seventy six to the furthest ones that were six miles and a quarter, basically. Um, go in the other direction. If we go to the furthest one here, which is this turbine, and we pull it back. Essentially, that's what thirteen. Wow, thirteen point six. So I caught them from both this side and that side, and basically, yeah. the you know the images show that I can put a straight line through them whilst looking at thirteen miles away. So eleven point five five to thirteen point seven. This white line goes right through the centre of the hubs the entire distance. And the same on the side elevation. When I do it from the side elevation, they go Man. right through the forms. Yeah, that one, that one right there. Like when you when you look at the lines, I mean that's a killer. I mean, especially when you when you show because you showed Philip the the you know facing it a different way, and it showed it where it looks like it's perspective. And then when you show a side shot, you know this is this right here is what soundly will never do. Right on, yeah. The bridge that he says is curving. He He'll never it. take a side shot of no. it because it, 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 I mean, it kills it. <laughs> yeah, it's if obvious this stuff, what, if this why he only shows curving, it's curving. The way the if it's curving looks. away from you as you look down the line, so if you bring up them all in, in a row again, the far left image, Ranty, if this is them curving away from you, each one of these represents high overthought. Can you hear us? Hey, what's up? Yep. Oh, good to have you. I was just about to boot you. Yep. I saw you on <laughs> Anthony's show earlier, but we'll just round out this point and then we'll do proper introduction. Um, so yeah, if the, if you're to believe what is happening here is each of these sticks is shorter. This stick is shorter than this stick. So in other words, this has disappeared, if it was a boat, hull first, over the curve, apparently, because it's further away, right? Wrong. As soon as you go to the side elevation, you see the real picture. This stuff's not built on a curve. It's absolutely flat as a pancake. Sorry. There we go. That was the end of that point.